Good morning everyone. Today is Oakley's birthday. He's very excited. I'm gonna set expectations really quickly because it's not gonna be as elaborate as his past two birthdays has been because me and Jack both have to work today and the weather is disgusting and it's a Monday, which is sad. Can you say hello to everyone? Can you look, can you perch? Good boy. So he's wearing a bandana because Jack was like, it's his birthday bandana. He's got to wear his bandana on his birthday. He has had a lovely morning so far. He has cuddled with me in bed, which you never do to you. You never do because you're not allowed in the bedroom. You never normally allowed in the bedroom. But I had him up on the bed with me while I was waking up and he had a cuddle and he did zoomies on the bed. He's very excited. Can I lift you up? People can see your face. Wow. Wow. You got a rabbit. <laughs> so he's had a cuddle with me. Then we've came downstairs and I was going to do a special breakfast for you, wasn't I? But then mum realised she had none of the stuff to do it. <laughs> so he's done a bit of snuffle, which was his favourite. He's still going because he's still not... Wow. He's still not eating very well. But we are taking him out of the room whilst we put his food down. Go, go find it. And he gets very excited when he first sees it, but then he just gives up. Which isn't great. It's still a work in progress trying to make him eat these meals. Because of the things I mentioned, we're not doing anything hugely special today. We have bought him a few things and we're gonna go out and get him a few more things. The plan is, it is 10 past 12 now. I am gonna do some training with him. We're gonna do some trick training because we haven't done that in a while and he quite likes doing trick training. And because we can't go out, I just wanna like do things with him in the house and engage him and things like that. So we're gonna, I'm just gonna try and get him playing whilst I'm... <laughs> I, I'm gonna do trick training. Then at lunch, we're gonna take him to my pet HQ, which is a small business that specializes in pet stuff in Morpeth. And it's dog friendly, so he can come with us and we're gonna buy him some presents. We've got him one present. We've got him a big toy from Ikea, which we're very scared about giving him because it's a soft toy that isn't designed for dogs. But Jack saw the octopus and was like, we need to get him that because he used to, octopus used to be his favorite toy. So we've got him a huge octopus and we're just gonna have to watch him, but we're gonna go and get him some dog friendly toys as well from my pet HQ. Then I'm gonna wrap them up and then you can open them because he likes ripping stuff up, don't you? You love ripping stuff up. So he's gonna rip them, you can rip the paper off his new toys. Then we're gonna take him for a walk if the weather lets up <laughs> once Jack finishes work. Hopefully in like a new place, somewhere we don't go that much. And then we have to go clean the van. And I'm not sure what we're doing with him yet because it's just a bit difficult taking him when we're cleaning the van because we can't keep an eye on him very much. But yeah, Oakley is three today. It's flying over first, Jack. <laughs> I feel like it's been the longest three years ever. I do. I feel like you should be like five now. Yeah, I feel like you should be like five, but you're only three. You're just a baby. But anyway, trick training. I think I'm gonna first go through ones that he's known in the past. Probably doesn't know anymore because we haven't done this in a very long time. Cause then it won't be as difficult for him. And I can also gauge how much he's wanting treats currently because he does keep going off his treats as well. So if he doesn't want his treats, trick training is gonna be difficult. The tricks that I'm probably gonna go through, he knows sitting down, he, ha he knows left and right. And then we used to know go through, which was like a figure of eight, do you remember that? You seem to alert to that a little bit. Do you remember go through? It's like a figure of eight around my legs. I used to know middle, which was just go in the middle of my legs and stay there. Obviously, you know, it's perch. Stand, he's, he, he, we've been doing stand a little bit, haven't we? You get a bit confused with stand, but we'll try stand. And I'm thinking if he's in a, oh, he used to know speak, so we could do speak. And I'm thinking if he flies through there, we could teach him a new one and we could teach him boop, which I want him to be able to like, go like boop like put his nose through my fingers but we'll see where we get to because I don't want to push him I don't want him to get stressed I just want him to enjoy some trick training so I'm gonna have treats for trick training these are just wild treats that I've put in a cute little container and it's got his old collar around it I need to try and figure out where to put you so you can see him I might have to stand I'm probably gonna have to stand up for a, for a lot of it right which one should we start with we'll do the ones that you know shall we can you go left yes Right? Yes, good boy. Down. Yes. 
his down is being iffy at the minute, so I am going to reward him for his downs. Stand. Yes. Down. Yes. On your side. No. Look. That was a rollover. You being silly, Billy. Calm it. Yes. Stand. Yes. Good baby. Right. Yes. On your side. Baby, I didn't give you a treat. Hey, on your side. No. <laughs> Why are you doing roll over? We never did roll over. No, you're not using the puppy. Come on. We are now out. Me and Oakley are currently sitting in the car waiting for Jack. Jack's popped into Pets at Home to get some treats because we've ran out so we need some treats for going to the shop and just in general. Jack also said he's going to have a look at what the ingredients are in the birthday cakes. But he's going to have a look. Listen, can you hear the rain? I'm so worried about not being able to get out later. We've just checked the weather and it's literally like 100% until midnight so we might, I was saying to Jack, we could go to where we went last year if you guys were around for then because the tree canopy is actually quite like thick so you don't get as rained on as much so that's an option but then we'll have to bring Oakley to the van we'll figure it out but we're on the way to the shop to get him some more presents he had a lovely nap after the trick session so I think he's having a good day are you doing okay baby? Yeah. <laughs> he's going on his harness and he's flexi lead so we don't have to worry about making him behave. But this is it, we're here. See all the cute little drawings on the window. It's huge, honestly, it's so big. <laughs> here we go, look at the, this is all toys and then there's all the food up there. Oh, look at this, wait, Oakley. Oh, no, <laughs> Oakley. Oh, he's after the octopuses. <laughs> <gasps> look at the little, Oh my god, there's so much birthday stuff. Ugly, it's your Col birthday. Oh my god, that's so freaking cute. Look at the little cake. Oh my god, I love it. And then the little presents. These are for your birthday. Yeah. Oh, everything's moving. Oh, look, they've got little slippers. Because <laughs> they always steal slippers. <laughs> that's so cute. Oh, here they are. Okay. okay, look, these are your favorite ones. Look. It's like a squirrel. It's like a squirrel. So we've got a new one. Oh, we've got a skunk. I think that's, he's had that one before, wasn't he? That's yeah, that's one. rabbit. Oh, I don't know if he's had that one because that's really long. It'd be nice to get him a chew. Mm -hmm. And then you want to get him a throwy thing. You're loving exploring. Under We're looking at the thing, chews at the minute. Euros, so yeah, that's, that's the right one. That's the maple one. Smell the tree. Oh, that's probably better than the bacon smelling one. Look it is. Look. Oh, wow, you like you, it? You Good do. job! You do, you like it. He hasn't that been one. bothered by any of the other toys. You like that one better than the fish one? Yeah. So, okay. should we put the fish one back? Should we ask him if he wants to choose? Or between them? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, I think he wants this one. Look at Which him. This one? This one. <laughs> He's trying to take it. Do you want to sniff this one? No, no, no okay. this one. Okay. <laughs> you, you can have him when we get home. We've got to wrap it up. Yeah, oh, you're a good boy. Awesome. You hold it. Oh, no, because. Yeah. Okay, okay. We should. Both, yeah. Right. Let's keep going. We're outside because Oakley kept 
not misbehaving, but just not paying attention to me, which I didn't like. So waiting for Jack to pay for his stuff. Um, I'll chat to you more once we're in the car because obviously I've got to watch him. This is a like a private road as well, so no one panic is on the road. I've just pulled up at Morrison's to get some lunch. I'm in a bit of a bad mood now because the sort of staff in there, this, 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 right, hang on, let me think right, if I can put you somewhere because I'm, I'm not shaking because of it, it's just I'm resting weird. That pet shop is very well known in Morpeth, like it's a well known pet shop and they're very big on social media and stuff and they do a lot of stuff for the community. So you'd expect them to be really like clued up on dogs. <laughs> but I was trying to deal with Oakley. Oakley was getting a little bit um, agitated, which you know, fair enough. He's in a place with a lot of smells because obviously a lot of dogs go in there and they sell raw food, they sell I don't think they sell hide, but they sell that kind of stuff. So there was a lot of smells going on, right? So he was getting agitated. So I was trying to get him in a sit because that's something that I can deal with him. I can put him back into a sit when he comes out of it. Like he's going to struggle, but it's something I'm happy to work through with him struggling. So he's not having to like walk gently, stuff like that, right? I was also really worried about him weighing in there. And I had him in a sit and this, the, the staff walked past him far too close and then stroked him and that i i hate people touching people's dogs without permission i hate it i don't think you should touch any dog without permission because they could be aggressive or just like okay they could have strict parents who are trying to train them which she was I, she would have heard me saying sit to him and like luring him and stuff like that and she literally just stroked him without asking me without addressing me without anything she talked to oakley in like a babyish voice which is fine you know i talk to oakley in a babyish voice but when i'm trying to get attention on oakley why are you doing that like you should know about dogs and you should know to not uh, touch people's dogs without permission and it's just really annoyed me because i just don't think anybody should do it never mind a pet store when i'm stressed already making him try and like i'm training him essentially and then she stroked him and then he just didn't listen to me afterwards so i know it's not a big deal i know it's not but when it happens every single time i'm out with oakley because i think people who are subscribed will know i very much like haven't been out with oakley in public places for a while because of how bad it went when he was younger with people just not paying attention to my boundaries but it happens every time like every time we go to a public space, somebody touches him without permission and I'm just like, stop touching my dog. Even if it wasn't the whole dog training thing or like, I don't know, just me being strict or whatever, I might not want like people touching my dog who I don't know. Like they could have like bad hygiene, they could be touching him with dirty hands or like I just really don't like it and I don't understand why people think it's okay. I know people struggle with boundaries with people, like people touch people when they shouldn't be touching them but I just hate it so much and I, it's just put me in a really like oh mood because I felt like I was starting to get better with Oakley and going out places and then people are just rubbish and it, I, the, the bit that annoys me the most is that that's a pet store and they should know not to touch dogs without permission but never mind. He is chilling in his bed there you go he's chilling in his bed whilst jack is in morrison's it's a little while later and i'm gonna wrap oakley's presents which i'm dreading because i am such a bad wrapper i cannot rack to save my life um but it's for a dog so we're all gonna take a step back realize it's not that important <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. I thought I'd show you what we got him. I'll go through the boring stuff first. So we got him some, these treats. We haven't bought these before, but I want some high value treats from the on the sausage because he's going a bit off the sausage. And I want something smelly. He loves fish, so, we, so we've went with fish and it's got garlic in it as well. So hopefully this should be smelly. Then we got him a yak. He loves the yaks. He's had them before and he likes them when we, when they get when it gets too small for him, we do the thing where you microwave them and they turn into like a quaver type thing and he likes that as well. You guys saw him in the shop wanting this. So I'm gonna wrap this up. Then we got him this thing from Kong. It says air dog. So it's meant to go up in the air. It says on the back, it's a squeaker extends engagement. It's very quiet, but I realized I probably shouldn't have done that anyway because he's out there. Then unique shape creates irresistibly unpredictable bounce. 
which will be great. And then non-abrasive felt gentle on teeth because Oakley is loving tennis balls at the minute. And when Jack throws the tennis ball with the like arm thing, which I don't like, I've seen vets say they don't like them, so I don't like using them. So we've tried, or we wanted to come up with something else that we could throw that he's gonna still be engaged with because we have a, like it's like a big rubber ball on a string. We tried that, he's not bothered. So this might feel more like a tennis ball but there's no risk of him swallowing it, which I'm scared of for normal sized tennis balls. And then also it can't be thrown as far. It is a bit heavy, but so hopefully that'll replace his tennis ball. And then, <laughs> isn't it so cute? <laughs> We're gonna watch him like a hawk with this. I love it, Jack loves it. And he loves octopuses. There was also a dinosaur, which we were very, very tempted to get because he loves dinosaurs as well. But we thought this one would be less rippable because the dinosaur had a big long neck that looked like very, very easy to rip. So, <laughs> got a miss. I'm just hoping it's gonna last like longer than an hour. It's gonna be a freaking nightmare to wrap, but it's worth it. He loves ripping off the wrapping paper. So we've got a nice little collection. It's better than last year. Last year we only bought, got him his bed. If you are somebody who only comes around for Oakley stuff or haven't been around since his birthday, that bed's been absolutely brilliant. It's been so good, like so good. He is still digging, which I mentioned in last year's vlog. He, when he does zoomies, <laughs> just go crazy digging like you literally burn to his bed and then just like really really fast into his bed and it has been so durable so durable he has loved the edge he puts his head up on there all the time he loves that it creates like a little corner and you'll like curl up in the corner it has been brilliant highly highly recommend it it's a silent night or orthopedic pet bed brilliant really really good anyway i'm gonna get to wrapping these we'll see how we go I've finished wrapping them. I did, Jack said I've done a good job, but that's them. Ran out of paper for the octopus, unfortunately. I'm just put, Jack set that up all cute for me so I can take a picture <laughs> before Oakley comes in. And then we're gonna hide the octopus and then give him that last after he's yeah. finished unwrapping all of them. So I'm just gonna quickly take a picture. <laughs> right, we're gonna let him in. Okay. Ready? Yeah, is it recording? Yeah. Uh -huh. you ready, baby boy? Okay. Wow! Presents! What are they? Wow! Oh, his cupcakes in the car as well. Oh, we can give them that later. Wow! <laughs> Too early for it. Just sit like that way. Go on, you get it! Wow! <laughs> wow! You make it a pass. Go on, you get it. Wow! Yeah, we're gonna have a look because you know you get it. Wow! Keep going, Yes, you're good. Wow! Wow! Look at this. Hang on. Okay, can you sit? Yes, good boy. Wait. Got his spaniel paw up. It's like this. Okay. Wow! You sure, ma'am? I don't like it. You sure, ma'am? Wow! Look at that. Oh Does it squeak? <gasps> Whoa. Whoa! We'll have fun with that later on. You're Wait, just give him a second. What is it? Wow. Do you want to open another one? <laughs> Should we get one of these? Right, can, can Man you, didn't wrap this one drop? properly, so you can just get that one. <laughs> oh, do you want one to sit it now? <gasps> What's that? Is that a yuck? Should I take that off you quickly before you sit you in? Oh, you're gonna play with it. Yeah, you wow. know what that is. Look, what on this one here? You ready? Wow, you can Hang on, hang on then. Okay. Oh, you can Oh, you can rip it. Wow! Wow! It's a tree! Wow! <laughs> Jackie might rip. Wow! <laughs> See what you think. Can you smell them? 
Oh, these are very stinky. <laughs> Ready, I'm a sniff. Wow. Sniff. Okay. Oh, not even a single drop no. out of the mouth. Do you want to do your last one? Wow. Well, that's enough. Oh, ready? Oh, one big tear. Wow. 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 You ready? Can we try to open it? Wow. Okay. You get Wow. Wow. <laughs> Straight away. Yes, yeah, you want to yak. <laughs> do you like it? You love your wow. better bones. Right, we've got one more. I'm gonna take that one off myself. <laughs> Can you sit in your bed? Good job. So scared. <laughs> He's so. Ah, ah. <laughs> Good boy. Okay. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, I'm crazy. <laughs> what is this? This is an octopus. Wow. <laughs> I don't even want to do that. Do you Wow. You do like it. Oh, oh wow, you still look that scratch. Oh, look at it in his mouth. <laughs> Wow, baby boy, are you happy? Good for the boy. Right, do you want to have one? <laughs> do you want to have one toy whilst mum and dad discuss what we're doing now? And you can pick. Do you want? Right, because I don't want you to chew this because you're a bit excited. So I think you're gonna chew them. So we'll leave that up there. Um, which one do you want? Or do you want a yak? Because you can sniff in your yak. You want your yak, okay? And we've got to figure out what we're doing because it's pouring. Yeah. Absolutely pouring. We are out. We have come to f go for a walk. It's um, I don't know if you can see or hear the rain, but it's his birthday. We've got to go for a walk. <laughs> it's not too heavy, is it? It's just spitty. It's just spitting on. It's not like. I think it's pouring. We've came to Plessy, which is not too far from us because we've decided that we're going to leave Oakley at home whilst we go clean the van. He's getting better with that. We can do that, and we'll leave him. We did a lick mat with. What did you do? A lick mat or a kong? Lick mat. Lick mat with his paddy that we bought when we were at the shop, and we'll leave his like tea, and we'll leave him a dentist stick. He'll be happy. He'll be fine, and we'll probably only be like two hours, one was two and a half. So it's not too bad. So we need to definitely do this walk because we're gonna leave him at home for a little while afterwards. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the hall of shame I wish I knew We are out, we've already had an incident um, to put it into context, show your top and then show me. It's all over your jeans as yeah, well. Turn around. Absolutely everywhere. We were walking, so Plessy has like, please excuse my hair, it's been shoved up. Plessy has quite thin, not thin, but like narrow roots where, roots? Well, paths. yeah, path, paths, paths, roots. Paths where to one side's the Not river and to the other side it's like woods so you can't get off the route really and we came we we're coming down been walking for what like 15 minutes yeah, been really nice yeah. he's doing okay and then well when we pulled up Too we far. saw some dogs that were off lead barking like just out of control really weren't they yeah. but we were like yeah we'll just wait like we don't mind like i feel like i've definitely mellowed with other dogs yeah. since we got Oakley and I'm very much like a oh. do your own thing as long as it's not getting in my way. So 
<laughs> you up in the chair. Yeah, just chair yes, good boy. Yeah. We so we waited till all the dogs had gone, and then got out, had a lovely walk. It was really really nice, and then we were coming along a path and saw the dogs who were out of control and pulled up and for reference one of them was a big ass Alsatian huge wasn't it like it was a very big Alsatian yeah. and two one was a Yorkie I don't know I didn't see the other one because that was on lead wasn't yeah, it yeah. and it was two people so we saw them off lead and any time I see a dog off lead or even on lead really yeah, we'll, path, we? we'll find out where to get off the path it's just a personal choice so we don't get in each other's way and also it's good practice for Oakley to just watch a dog go past so we we found somewhere very just off the path yeah. got him in a sit and then these people just stood in the middle of the path for what 30 seconds yeah. just staring at we not putting their dogs on lead nothing just literally standing staring and they were, how far do you reckon they were away like 100 yards they were quite yeah. far off yeah. then they started walking again and straight away this Alsatian and the Yorkie came straight up to Oakley and Jack was standing in front of Oakley couldn't stop them because obviously it's a tiny, little dog, a tiny dog and huge dog you can't do anything so Jack shouted can you get your dog and they were like did you hear what the name was no. They were shouting the dog, but not with any urgency. Just like, nah, like, Oakley, Oakley, Oakley. And then the German Shepherd started growling at Oakley and it, like they were on top of him. So a dog growls <laughs> in a three dog situation. It's nope. going to start getting heated. I think that's a fair enough assumption, right? Yeah. So I went, I was like, shit. So I was like, Jack, get Oakley. Because I, I was trying to pick Oakley up, but he's muddy as hell. I couldn't get him. He was slippy as fuck. Oh, I need to stop swearing. I couldn't pick him up. So I was like, Jack, can you pick Oakley up? This Alsatian was barking and growling at Oakley. And Oakley was scared. Oakley wasn't barking back. He was a very good boy. Just like trying to get out of the way, wasn't yeah. he? So trying to get it. Then they finally caught up. She didn't even put the dog on lead. Even try, yeah. nah. Hang on, because I'm just worried they're going to be on this path. Back in the car now, I kept getting too scared in case we ran into them, and then we did run in, ran into them. I don't know how though, because we were like at the entrance, and they were like turning back on themselves to um, and we saw them leave from this car park, so we were a bit worried that they were like coming back to say more. But basically, this dog was growling at Oakley, um, and Oakley was just trying to get out of the way, and Jack kept saying, get your dog. And then she was like trying to get the dog, but didn't even put the dog back on a lead. And then she was telling me to calm down. And it's like, your dog's growling at my dog. Like, and it's an Alsatian. It could literally kill him. So I wasn't gonna calm down. And I wasn't being, I don't know, over, I don't know. I wasn't making the situation worse. I wouldn't say. Do you think like how I was reacting was making the situation worse? Because she kept telling me to calm down as if I was like screaming. No, the dogs were having a go at them. The yeah. dogs were literally out with feet underneath were having a go at them. So I literally was just like, Oakley. I wasn't, because I was counting on Jack to kind of deal with the other dogs. I was literally just trying to get Oakley out of the way. And she kept telling me, she was like, calm down, just calm down. And then not being able to get our dog, which makes no sense. Then got our dog and she was like, you need to calm down and make the situation better because you're just making it worse. And I literally went, if you can't recall your dog, get it on a lead. And then what did she say to me? Oh, she said like, well, you, you said something like, no, she said something like they're just saying hello. Like they're just she was like, yeah, other. they're just, uh, she was like, he's just telling him. He's just, he's just talking to him. And I was like, I literally do not care. If your dog cannot be recalled, get him on a lead. No, no she said, um. But then, no, she said right. talking first. And then she said. Yeah, he's just telling him off. Keep in mind, we were off the path, waiting for them to pass, and she thought that it was okay for her Alsatian to come and tell my dog off when he did nothing. Like, Oakley didn't growl once. <laughs> this Alsatian was growling at Oakley. I have no idea what the Yorkie was doing. The Yorkie was just kind of getting in the whole way. Was it a Yorkie or was it like a Jack Russell? I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention it to the dog. It didn't look like a Yorkie. I think it was like a little Jack Russell thing. Right, like long head. Yeah. yeah. And then she was... So she, yeah, she was like, he's just telling them off. And I was like, if you cannot recall your dog, it needs to be on a lead. And she was like, well, this is just how they talk. And I was like, I don't care. And then what did she say? I don't know, as we were walking. She kept being really like, I don't know, just like confrontational with me. And like putting her hands out and stuff. And I literally was like, I kept saying, 
your dog needs to be on a lead. And then she went, you shouldn't be coming to places like this then. And I was just like, with my dog on a lead and you've got two dogs on a lead and one on a lead. I was like, what do you, I, no. I was just like, get the dog on. The, and I, I ended it with her say, I, I said, well, you obviously don't know anything about dogs then. And then I turned and walked away. And then what did she shout at me? I don't know what she shouted. I can't remember, but she shouted something at me. And then I turned around and the Alsatian was literally standing on point, eyes on Oakley, wasn't it? Mm. She was walking away and the Alsatian was not walking with her, literally standing, tracking yeah, Oakley. Yeah. And I literally turned around and went, your dog is literally standing, tracking my dog right now. It's being aggressive. Go. Oh, man. <laughs> so I got really angry. <laughs> and... But she, she started the argument, didn't she? Oh, yeah. Because I'm was. so fine with people. Well, no, I'm not. That's, that's an exaggeration. I'm okay with people if they apologise. And I'm just like, the dog needs to be on a lead. But she was making me out to be in the wrong. I don't know if she saw us coming and being cautious and thought, I'm, like, I'm going to make a point here. But, like, where the ones like that. It felt being like cautious? She just, it felt like she just wanted to have an argument. Yeah. So I got upset and had a cry because... Like she, she didn't once try and recall a dog either. No, she just came over. She just came over. And then and, she was, and when, it was like when we said, um, get your dog like the second or third time, she was like, I'm getting there. I was like, you know, you Not fast dog enough. The all. dog's growling at my dog. Because I was just saying with that Alsatian, that Alsatian could kill Oakley. Oh, 100%. And we were like on the floor trying to get Oakley. Like we are, we're a mess. There's, there's mud everywhere. Like Jack's pants is, and he's cleaning like. It's a white top. That's probably ruined now. I have it all over my hands. Oakley's fine. Please don't worry about Oakley. He's okay. I don't think the dog went for him, did he? No, I just growled. I couldn't see the situation because I was literally just down on the floor trying to get Oakley. No, I, just I just don't understand people. Like, if you see, if you see someone with a like, I, I don't know. I just think it's common courtesy to give dogs space. Never mind if your dog's growling. Yeah. You should be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. And being like, that could have been a dog fight. Like, I, because that's what I was scared of. Because of the growling, yeah. I was like, this is it. Like, there's going to be a dog fight. Because there was three dogs involved in the situation. And she wasn't getting... Oh, man. And I was all tangled up, which obviously doesn't help the situation. But I don't think I could have controlled that situation. Because obviously, I was out the way with Oakley. And those dogs came over to us. So it wasn't like I got myself more involved in the situation than I should have been. Like, I literally had nowhere move, to yeah. go. And obviously, Oakley's on lead. So I'm all tangled up in the lead. <sighs> I was saying to Jack, it just feels like it's every time I leave the house, something happens. And then for her to be like, you shouldn't be in places like this. And it's like, I'm the one with the dog on the lead. Like, why, why is was, it me that was, shouldn't be here? He you was, shouldn't be here. He was on a sit. At the side of the pathway. Yeah, uh -huh. like yeah, because like I said, we practice a sit when a dog goes past. So yeah, you're right. She just obviously didn't give a shit at all. But it's the fact that she was like looking at me and being like, "You need to calm down," and I was just like, "Babe, like, what are you, what are you talking about?" I'm really worried that it was a dog walker as well, because she was like in gear, in like the gear for her. <sighs> I just don't. I don't think everybody should have dogs. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go home now. We're going to have to change, possibly shower. Um, and Oakley's a mess because he kept sliding all over in the mud when the dogs were trying to get him, so, yeah. We got this cupcake for Oakley. Iced woofing. For his birthday, so we're going to give him it now. We, just whilst Jack's opening that, we've made the decision that I'm going to stay here instead of going to the van, just because with me getting overwhelmed quite easy. God, what's, my hair is so wet because it was raining so much. Does it smell awful? No, it smells like, actually smells like cake. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? Uh, and we're also just worried that Oakley's gonna feel a little bit off, so if we left him, we're worried he'd be just a little bit on edge. So I'm gonna stay here, so he's gonna have a cake now. <laughs> so if he shits himself, I can deal with it. <laughs> and also so Jack can see, because Jack's gotta go up still. This is your first ever cake, baby boy, because we're really scared about you eating things you shouldn't. No way. <laughs> Ready? Oh, go feed him it. Don't let him get it. Go feed him it. Wait, okay, come here. You sit. Sit. You ready? Okay. Okay. His eyes are so wide. Wow. wow what's that? Oh, that? good get boy. It, it <laughs> you get it. Wow. 
Oh, I should have got a picture of it with him. <laughs> Good boy. Wow. Bring it down a bit. Good oh, job. baby, look at me. Ugly. Okay. Okay. You get it. Wow. Oh, wow. what's that? Do you want to bow and poke off? Oh. It's alright, you get it. That's Whoa. Oh, it's the icing. <laughs> You're not too sure on the icing. <laughs> wow. Oh, do you like the cake? Oh my god, look at the floor. <laughs> wow, do you like the cake bit? Good job. Did you enjoy that? Was that yeah, you Still like it. it. Wow, what did you wow. think? Wow, did you like that? You're licking your lips like you did. Are you gonna be hyper? Whoa. Are you? Are you gonna be a hyper baby? You're gonna wow. sleep, you? You're soaking. Okay, Edit and Sarah is coming at you to finish this vlog. I've got wet hair, so if I look a little, I've just came out of the shower. So I didn't finish this vlog off on the day because I just didn't do anything after that happened uh, on the walk. I just was in such a terrible mood. It, it wasn't great, but anyway, I think Oakley had a good birthday, do you? Yes, I do. He absolutely adored that cupcake. He ate the all mushroom. of the crumbs, yeah. all off the rug. <laughs> he absolutely loved it. Because I, I kind of left and went to the gym, didn't I? And then by the time I came back... You went back, and cleaned the van? Cleaned the van. Uh-huh. By the time I came back, it had, like, you'd hoovered. Yeah, uh-huh. Because he cleaned that much of it. Yeah, he was a very good boy. And I think he had a very good day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave the video a like and comment and subscribe if you are new. It just lets me know what kind of videos you like to see and it helps support the channel and push the channel to other people. But even if you don't do any of that, thank you so much for watching. Uh, should we say, let Oakley say goodbye? Yeah. You say bye to everyone. Bye. You were such a good boy. You were a good boy. And do you want to say goodbye? Bye. <laughs> bye. Bye.